Well, good afternoon, Michiganders. It is Tuesday, March 8, 2022, and of course, this is Tuesday with Tom, Michigan's only weekly internet show where we answer your questions about estate planning and estate settlement in Michigan, and we don't send you a bill. I'm your host, Tom Doyle, estate planning attorney, lifelong Michigan resident, and ambassador for all things good in this great state of Michigan. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's program. Well, just a brief recap of last week's show. Talked about Michigan permits unique asset protection for married couples, Michigan real estate. Essentially talked about what we call owning your property as tenants by the entirety or tenants by the entirety. That's when married people in the state of Michigan own their property as married people It has a unique protection relative to certain creditors. So if you've got concerns about your home or other Michigan real estate in the state of Michigan, I encourage you to listen to last week's episode, particularly too if you are considering transferring that property into a trust. Well, today's show, question that Amanda and I frequently are asked, my daughter's name has changed. Do I have to change my trust? But please remember what I'm about to discuss during the program is, as always, for educational purposes, it is not intended to be legal advice. You need to work with your attorney to determine what is appropriate for you and your estate plan. My daughter's name has changed. Do I have to change my trust? Again, that's one of the most frequent update questions that Amanda and I, clients contact us wanting to update their estate plans because their daughter's name has changed due to a change in marital status, either got married or divorced. So, they think they need to change their documents to reflect their name. Question is, Do you have to? Short answer to that is no. You don't have to change your documents simply because your daughter's name has changed. So long as, so long as your daughter would be able to establish when the time came that her name was changed from the time that you had prepared your documents You don't have to worry about changing your documents. And that would be, you know, perhaps a marriage license, divorce decree, some sort of documentation so that if she was questioned and needed to establish that she, in fact, is the same person that was referred to in your documents, there isn't a need to change your documents. Now, Some clients are going to insist that they want to change their documents. They want their daughter's name to match up in the documents with the documents. Now, then again, it's going to depend upon what the documents are that you're talking about, what it's going to take to update those documents. For example, a trust. A trust can be amended. So if you're simply changing the name of your daughter in your trust document, it would normally be a simple amendment to the trust. If you have a will, Wills can be amended by what we call a codicil. That's the legal name for a document that changes a will. Again, your daughter's name changed. You want that to be changed in your will. You could simply have a codicil prepared. Beyond that, essentially other documents such as healthcare powers of attorney, durable powers of attorney, appointment of funeral representatives, those sorts of documents don't normally get amended they simply get replaced. So if your daughter's name is one way in your durable power of attorney and you want to have it changed, you're looking at having a new durable power of attorney prepared for you. Of course, all of that is going to involve lawyers and all of that is likely going to involve some sort of fees for that change to be made. So if you don't need to change it in the documents, and you don't feel the compulsion to change it in the documents, just make sure 
that your doc daughter would be able to establish that her name had changed. Now, what we have available for our clients is we have a notice of name change form. That notice of name change form can simply be filled out and attached to the relevant documents. Now, it's not changing the document. It's simply reflecting so that people would know that the name of the person has been changed. So, for example, your daughter's name is in the trust and her name changes. For our clients, you could simply use the notice of name change, reflect what her previous name was, what her current name is now, date it and sign it, and then you attach it to the document. Again, it's not a form that's amending the document. It's simply notifying somebody who's reading through the document that the name of your daughter has been changed. So certainly, if you're an existing client of ours and you have concerns about your daughter's names relative to your doc relative to your documents, simply contact us and we would be happy to provide you with the copies of the notice of name change form. You can simply have different ones prepared for whatever documents it is that your daughter's name uh, was reflected in and now needs to be changed. Of course, now there might be other reasons to change your trust or your will, particularly the distribution provisions under a trust or the distribution provisions under a will when your daughter has married. Think about that. If your daughter, when you prepared your documents, wasn't married and now she is, now she has a spouse and you have to ask yourselves if you die, if, if when you die, not if, but when you die, if the estate is going to go to your daughter and she's now married, do you have concerns at all that her spouse might now be someone who would stand in line to inherit your estate? And if so, that can be a reason to actually amend the trust or have a codicil done to your will. And if you listen to other episodes of Tuesday with Tom, I talk about different things, different concerns when children get married and how it is, what the options you might have in order to protect your estate from going to their new spouse. So that can be a time. It's not really just because your daughter's name has changed, but there's a significant change in her relationships that can impact your estate plan. Of course, as always, if you need any assistance, again, existing clients, you want to have a notice of name change form, simply contact us. We'll be happy to do that. Or obviously, if you need to amend your trust or change a, a will because of concerns about a new son-in-law or daughter-in-law standing in line to inherit your estate, Amanda and I would be happy to talk to you about what we could do to help you do that. Of course, too, Amanda and I would be just honored to have the opportunity to help you protect your loved ones, either by putting together an estate plan, amending a plan that you have, even if somebody else had prepared the plan for you, or assisting you in settling a loved one's estate. Go over to the virtual office at DoyleLawPC.com, and there you're going to find information about how it is that we can help you, how it is that you can schedule a Zoom or telephone consultation with us, if you're a new client, you can download a copy of our free estate planning guidebook. You're able to actually upload a copy of that guidebook back through the website itself in time for us to have it in when we do have a consultation with you. Or certainly if you're a current client and you want to look at updating your plan, we've got the Update My Plan service that, again, is available in the virtual office also, if you're simply looking at having individual documents prepared, maybe all you need is a new certificate of trust because you have a trust that's trying to sell real estate. 
you might want to then visit the legal store that we have available for you. Well, that's going to be it, though, for today's show. And as always, if you have a comment about the program, a topic that you'd like to have me discuss, or questions that you would like to have answered, please send me an email. That would be tom at tuesdaywithtom.com or mail me a postcard at our new Grand Rapids P.O. Box, and that would be Tom Doyle, P.O. Box 3752, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49501. Of course, we always invite you, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter and have your families follow us as well. That's at Tuesday with Tom. And the office, of course, is Doyle Law PC. Remember, too, Tuesday with Tom is available on many podcast services, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spreaker. It's probably available on whatever podcast service you use. And as always, you can even ask your smart speaker to play Tuesday with Tom for you. Well, thank you again for spending some of your time with us to do and today. I'm sorry. And as always, I hope that you have an awesome day and an awesome week in Michigan. Stay safe. Tuesday with Tom has been brought to you by the estate planning attorneys at Doyle Law PC. To learn how we can help you with your estate plan or with settling a loved one's estate, please call us today at 517-323-7366. That's 517-323-7366.